Hey, hey, everybody, listen, um, welcome in the building. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. And all of you, hit the like button. You know what? 2023 must be the year of the biologicals, okay? And, and Diva, what are you talking about? What do you mean the biologicals? The biological children to some of these parents who don't want to acknowledge the kids they created before they got into their current relationship. You shouldn't play in the streets and be loose and free with your with your, with your, with your um, legacy that uh, lives in your pants or maybe in your skirt, whatever. Don't be loose and free with your legacy if you know that your plans for the future are to get married, have one wife, and have a kid by only that particular individual. You can't erase your past. If you got some kids you left behind in the past, I'm sorry, you and your current wife, the chosen one, are going to have to deal with the biologicals you left behind. Now, first we heard about Brian McKnight, you know, praising a new family on his social media and forgetting about the children he made before he got with the current wife. And I heard sprinklings of this story before, but now Jay-Z, his biological, his firstborn perhaps, is coming back to haunt him. And he been playing all kinds of games in the courtroom to avoid it. My thing is, Jay-Z, if you think this person is crazy and is not your child, just take the DNA test. Prove it ain't your son. Well, what's that Michael Jackson song, Billy Jean? She claim I'm the one, but I'm not. If you're not the one, Jay-Z, just, just give up your DNA. But for some reason, he's fighting it. And that leads me to believe that perhaps this young man might be telling the truth. You know, it's hard for a child to grow up not even know who their parent is. It's even harder to speculate that your parent is somebody with privilege and money and they're annoying you and they got other kids. They living their best life and you somewhere starving. Now, let's get into this young man's story. Hold on, everybody. Shout out to 2023, okay, the biologicals. That's what that's 2023 is going to be dedicated to the biologicals. Now, listen, this man is insisting, insisting he's Jay Z, illegitimate son, and demands the rapper takes a paternity test. Now, I don't know. I mean, do y'all think they look alike? I know people that have no. Um, um, DNA connection that look alike. And I know people that have DNA connection and don't look alike. So I, I don't know what to say about this here. But but he's insistent, okay? He, he, he wants to be acknowledged. He wants his daddy to acknowledge him. And Jay-Z, if it's you, I mean, do the right thing. And Spike Lee says, do the right thing. Okay, a 30-year-old man claiming to be the son of Jay-Z has now filed a Supreme Court motion to um, reveal the truth. He took this thing to the Supreme Court. He's serious. Now, my thing is, the only person that would truly know if Jay-Z is the father is his mama. I don't know his whole background and everything, but this Ramir, since, since, he, was, um, since he was 21, so he found out late, it seems, because he's 30 now. So since he was 21, Ramir has been fighting to prove the legendary rapper is his biological father. 
However, according to Ramirez, this has never been officially confirmed, claiming the Brooklyn's finest rapper has been abusing the legal system for over a decade to avoid taking a paternity test. Now, see, I, I mean, that to me, Jay-Z, and y'all let me know in the chat if I'm wrong, that admits to, like, you know this is your, your seed. You know that's your son. Why would you avoid taking a paternity test? If I was a man and some chick was accusing me of being the one and I knew I had nothing to do with that chick, I you, come on, tap my bang. Pull, pluck out my hair. Let's do this test so this crazy person can leave me and my family alone. But in the back of your mind, Jay-Z, you must be, know that this is a strong possibility that he belongs to you. This is sad. Now he's bringing his case to the Supreme Court, hoping they will force HOV, okay, Hove, you know, Jay-Z, okay, um, to take a DNA test to um, provide Ramirez with the confirmation he desperately craves, okay? He wants to know, is that my daddy? Now, let's hear from Ramirez himself. He's talking all over the place. I would have preferred if he was going to do this 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 little live right here that he did on his Instagram. I would have preferred if he would have just said, listen, my mama met Jay-Z here. They slept together here. My mama told me that that's my father, and that's why I'm going after Jay-Z. But he's talking more about the court system here. But let's listen to him. Hold on now. Okay, it's not. Okay, it's not playing. Let me stop the screen. It wasn't playing for you. Hold on, let me share it again. Maybe I got to share from here. Because this is something that's going on continuously on a daily basis with maybe many different people. So as I said, I was in the major court, me, my mom, my god mom, we've been in court for many years and it's just been crazy. Like, I, as I said before, it's been crazy. Um, we've been going in there. I don't feel like we've been getting our rights really appreciated. So important to deal with because all the fraud on the court, if we, if we just let that, you know, just pass and not say anything about it, they will continue to do anything they want. This is not just with us, it's with people in the world. Like a lot of fraud and a lot of collusion that's just been going on and just been looked over is was never supposed to happen. Like, and I will not let that pass. I'm not letting the lawyers get away with that. They will not go in the courtroom of justice and just lie like that and continue to and continue to get praised off it or, you know, use this lie to benefit off, off of all these years, like we've been going to court, putting our hard own money out there, and we going in there to fight fraud. That's just so that's, that's craziness. That's really craziness, and I don't think nobody in the world should have to go through that. You going in there, you paying your hard own money. You got these lawyers that's just frauding and putting anything they doing, anything they want, basically in the courtroom, and the judges is just allowing this to go on. I honestly believe that someone, both of them, should be hold hold it responsible for this because. If you guys, this is you guys' job, and if the judge can't see this or overlook it, I, I can understand a, a mistake. But just throughout the years, this continue to overlook fraud is just, it's just, just craziness to me. Like, come on, it's, it's, it's right there in your face. If you can't see that, then I don't know, I don't know what else we can do to help you guys believe that it's something crazy going on with this case. Like, like I, honestly. I just want everybody in the world just to keep their eyes open and just watch things that happen, that this like how, how things unfold because it's just it's crazy. It really is crazy. These judges, these lawyers, this 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 fraud, this collusion. Who knows what it's for? Money or friendships or whatever they got going on. But I can honestly say that we should never go in the courtroom feeling like we are already the victims and we did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong, but come in here, tell you guys the truth, put our life on the line, come to every court case and give give you 100% plus of us. And you know, basically we just got stepped over, stepped on 
and basically, you know, just try to get dragged through the system. But no, we won't let that go. That's not us. We're we're not we're not <laughs> we're not letting this go, and we will continue to fight. Like especially for fraud and collusion that's been going on. No, I will not let nobody just put that on our my name, my mother's name, my godmother's name. We 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 will fight for what is right, like we've been doing all these years, and continue. Yo, know, as Ramirez said, away, I'm back again. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, guys, one second. Let me um share the screen again. Okay. So he um he wants to know. Let's continue here. But according to the 30-year-old, he wants nothing from the hit maker. He wants nothing from Jay-Z. He said no money, no yachts, no mansions. All he wants is justice to be served. He wants to be acknowledged that I'm your son. He told the Daily Mail, this is not going to, uh, going to be over until justice is served. I just want to live my life. And when all is said and done, I hope that Jay-Z will want to be a part of my life. And that is God's will. Ay, ay, ay. I won't stop fighting for this until I win. And I will win because the law is on our side. This isn't the first time Ramir has taken legal action against Jay-Z, okay? In 2016, he filed a lawsuit against Jay-Z, claiming that he was a father and demanded a paternity test. Ultimately, the case was dismissed by a judge in New Jersey, citing a lack of jurisdiction. Ramirez claims his, his late mother, Wanda, has slept with the rapper when she was 16 and he was 22. Now, listen, guys, um, I'm not starting nothing and I ain't making up anything. So y'all be easy. Y'all be easy as we have this conversation. She was 16. He was 22. And maybe that's another reason why he's avoiding this. Because then he will have to deal with in in his age that he at right now, that he was with a sixteen year old when he was twenty two, which is well before he achieved global fame. Okay, according to the filing, the romance was short lived as Wanda was still in her high school sweet. She was still with her high school sweetheart, who was by Wanda's side when she gave birth in the hospital, as per the Daily Mail. So maybe Jay Z position is that ain't my baby. It's it's your high school sweetheart baby. How did Wanda know? I'm being respectful here that it wasn't. I guess maybe the high school sweetheart took a DNA test and they know it's not his. So she said, "Well, then it has to be um, Jay Z baby because that's the only person I was with. Other person I was with." As a result. He was listed as Ramirez's biological father on his birth certificate. Well, no, he wasn't just listed. He had to sign. He had to sign. So if you, you know, there's laws around this thing. You don't have to be the biological father, but if you want to sign your name on a birth certificate, then you automatically take responsibility. This is, this is, whoo. However, in 2010, Robert took a paternity test. Ay, that's what happened. Good God. However, in 2010, Robert took a paternity test which proved that Ramirez wasn't his offspring. And the following year, Rhonda granted custody of her son to his godmother, um, Lily. This, this young man been through a lot. This is, this is a lot. This is a lot. Oh, my God. She done gave away her son. This young man is he's 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 um tortured inside. The father that signed your birth certificate wasn't your father. He found out later on after signing the birth certificate he wasn't the father, and then your mother gave you away to the godmother. Lily vowed that she would find out who Ramirez's birth father is, and even contacted Jay Z's attorney. Okay, Lisa Fisher and asked that he take the DNA. However, Jay-Z and his team did not comply. This is sad. In 2012, Ramirez and his godmother decided to pursue legal action, which has spanned over 10 years. In a statement to the Daily Mail, Jay-Z's attorneys denied these claims, writing the allegations have been previously looked at thoroughly by the courts and have been refuted. I am sure that... The, um, that um, I'm, I am sure that will be the outcome of whatever filings um, Ramirez is, um, Ramir is um, currently considering, okay, or currently doing. 
Oh, God. This is old with a story. I'm going to be honest with you. Even though his mother was only 16, his mom... This is a lot. I, okay, let me... This is a lot, y'all. This is a lot. So the mother was 16... She was sexually active. She had a boyfriend at the time and she had to be sexually active with the boyfriend or the boyfriend would have never even thought possibly that the kid was his. He was there by her side when she gave birth. She gave birth somewhere along the line. He was like, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Is this really my kid? He took a DNA test. It wasn't his. And the mother gave her child up to the godmother. God, shout out to this godmother for taking on this responsibility. And then the godmother, she she knows that my man knows who his mama is. Let me try to see if I can help him find out who his dad is. And they believe that is Jay-Z. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. What do you think about this case? We got to keep our eye out um, on this case. Um, maybe we can get to sp uh, speak to Ramir and see what's going on a little bit more. Um Chat with me, guys. This is a lot. This is a whole lot. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let me know your thoughts, um, and I'll chat back. I'll see you on the next video.